Welcome to Open Your Reality, guys. If you want to know the truth about Dr. Stephen Greer, stay tight because in this segment, I've interviewed Stephen Cambian of the Truth Seekers channel and he spills the tea on what he knows about Dr. Greer. Now, I have been following Dr. Greer for quite some time and I do admire his intelligence and his expertise on ufology, on extraterrestrial life, and technology. And I don't know if he's a grifter or not, but that's why I brought Stephen on of the Truth Seekers channel. Now just keep in mind, Stephen takes the position of a debunker. So if you are a Stephen Greer fan, you might be disappointed with this video. But in any regard, I will probably put the long interview, the two hour one I did with Stephen Camby and the full one on Patreon. Patreon is a platform where you can support me. It's just $10 a month and you can see videos that I do not post here. All right, with all that said, let's just get right into it. Um, You've also made videos on Stephen Greer before. And Stephen Greer is another one of those people who sounds very intelligent when he speaks. He's a former medical doctor who gave up that career to be, um, I, I don't know, like, I don't even know exactly how you do it. He calls himself a disclosure advocate, I believe. <laughs> a disclosure, I was going to say. Well, actually, he calls himself the world's foremost expert on extraterrestrial life and aliens or something like that. Which is kind of weird because it's kind of like, well, there's no verifiable proof or evidence that aliens exist. So it's kind of like me saying I'm the world's foremost authority on the Easter Bunny. You know, it, it's just, it's just bizarre to me. And Greer is another person. Um, Greer has made more, I think that Stephen Greer has made more money than anyone in conspiracy land and UFO land. And we can see that by his constant fundraising. He collected a half a million dollars to, and he told people it was for charity to create a free energy device. Again, free energy is a common theme among these grifters. Uh, and in the history of the world, nobody's ever produced a working verifiable free energy device, but never mind that, you know, by the lie. So Greer collected a half a million dollars for something called the Orion Project, in which he promised that he was gonna produce a free energy device and give it to the world never produced anything and then recently he collected over six hundred thousand dollars last i checked to crowdfund a film about free energy now this is after he's already collected a half million dollars to make a free energy device and then 10 years go by so he hopes everybody forgot about that half million dollars he he generates another half a million dollars to make a film about free energy which is you know, I, I, I edit video myself. I know a lot about filmmaking. You can look at his documentaries and anybody who knows films or filmmaking or anything like that can look at his films and say, this is not a half million dollar film. This is Quick pause, guys. I want to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Keen. Keen connects you with talented tarot card readers and astrologers, and I'll pick up the phone when I need to figure things out, like what's my next move forward. With Keen, you can speak to a psychic for as little as a minute or as long as you like. And in my experience with Keen, it's about finding one that you truly resonate with. Fortunately, Keen has hundreds of talented readers to choose from, and it only took me speaking to three or four psychics before settling on one that I felt good about. And in just a few minutes of speaking with that psychic, I received guidance on some seriously tough challenges that I was going through. These were the more pressing issues in my life, like health and finance and well, lately, relationships too. If you want to get a reading on Keen like me, it's easy to start. All you have to do is create an account, read through the short bios of the psychics, and choose the one that you think is the best for you. Keen has talented psychics in many categories, such as life path and advice, tarot card readings, astrology readings, and more. And each reader has their own unique specialty that can provide a deeper understanding of your situation. Whatever it is you need to know, Keen has a reader that can provide clarity and insight. And you can choose to connect with phone or through text chat. And as a new customer, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. That's $99 in savings. Go to trykeen.com forward slash open your reality or click the link in my description to save big on your first reading. Thank you, Keen, for sponsoring this video. Rest in peace instead of having people gawk at him for the next 50 years. And that's how I feel about the Atacama humanoid. This was a human being that unfortunately suffered a great number of deformities and, and died as a child. So can we just bury that human being with dignity and respect? 
or do we run to the UFO community because it happens to look like an alien and make millions of dollars off of a deformed human fetus? It shows you the level of ethics and morality of these people, you know. And and interestingly, the Atacama humanoid is not the first time that people have used human remains to scam for UFO and alien dollars. We have got the Nazca mummies where people literally stole a bunch of skeleton skeletal body parts from a tomb and glued them all together and plastered them and made them look like an alien. We've got the alien star child skull that Lloyd Pye made hundreds of thousands of dollars claiming was uh, an alien skull when it wasn't. It clearly wasn't by all medical standards and all the DNA came back 100% human. You know, it's just kind of despicable to me to use human body parts to scam people for alien story money, you know? What is your position on UFOs and aliens? Do you believe there's a possibility that they exist? I mean, there's Roswell, and we have a lot of talk in the Sumerian uh, tablets and various hieroglyphics that depict these yeah. alien craft. Yeah, I, think- I mean, what what is, what is, what is your belief? Well, I think there's certainly... Well, here, here's what I'll tell you. I, I believe that there have been non-human intelligences interacting with human beings throughout our entire history. Um, the question becomes, what are the source of those non-human intelligences? Are those demons? Are they angels? Are they, you know, uh, gods with a lower case uh, that we have heard in legends? Or are they visitors from other star systems? I, you know, I think there's a lot of compelling evidence for all of the above. Are they interdimensional beings, beings from another dimension? We see these people who all communicate with very intelligent, strange beings while uh, under the influence of DMT. Some people think DMT is a doorway to speak to non-human intelligences. You know, I think there's a, a great deal of hunger for UFO and alien stories because it speaks to the human story. Throughout our whole history, there have been legends, myths, and stories of non-human intelligences interacting with us. Uh, So I I think where there's smoke, there's got to be fire. Uh, I I had a strange experience myself as a child. That's what got me down the rabbit hole of UFOs and aliens. But later in life, once I saw all the layers of deception that are used to create these illusions, I call them illusions of, of true stories. You know, these carefully crafted deceptions that people say, oh, the story is true. You know, more and more, I believe that what I witnessed, uh, you know, was most likely some sort of experimental aircraft that I just wasn't familiar with or aware of. And uh, when I was younger, I was convinced it was aliens because I saw some, uh, you know, ovular, circular object in the sky, no sound. I, I... I felt electricity in the air. I smelled something, which I would later find out in a high school chemistry class. What I smelled was ozone, which is a common side effect of electrical discharges. So, you know, I I don't know. I got here to try to find the truth of my own experience. And all I found was deceivers, liars, scammers, grifters, and con artists. And those are just the good guys here, you know? Wow. Wow. So there it is, guys. There's my interview with Stephen Cambium from the Truth Seekers channel. He puts out a lot of good points about UFOs, but I still think they exist. I've made a lot of videos about them, and I'm not going to change my mind. I truly believe that alien technology has been around on this planet for as long as human civilization has been here. And it's like Steven said in the video, where there's smoke, there's fire. And there's been a lot of smoke through the eons. But I'm curious to know your opinion. Let me know in the comments section if you believe that aliens are all just a hoax, or if they are really here. I know for me, I've seen a UFO in the sky, and I don't know if it was perhaps an advanced man craft or truly something extraterrestrial. And I was camping in upstate New York in my early 20s when I noticed this strange light in the sky moving in a very irregular fashion, coming closer, going further away, and finally it just left. But it was hovering in the sky for about 10 minutes, and I can tell. It wasn't a helicopter, it wasn't a plane, and I look in the sky very often and I see planes and helicopters, I know how they move, this was not it. And I've had other people that I trust tell me that they've seen a UFO as well. It's one of those things where we may never know the truth, 
Are these aliens coming from some type of faraway star system? Or are they coming from somewhere in Earth or beyond the continents, if you believe in the Flat Earth Theory? These are all great questions to postulate and ponder. Well, I want to thank you for joining me till the end of the video. I appreciate all you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.